Why are IVF doctors so bad at predicting the outcome of an IVF cycle? We all know that IVF doctors are experts. We've been doing IVF for many years. We do thousands of cycles and therefore one would expect that doctors would be pretty good at telling patients in advance what their chances of having a baby are. After all, that is what they do day in and day out. And how hard can that be? And that's the most important question which a patient wants an answer to. What are my chances of success? The dirty little secret of IVF is that doctors are terrible at being able to answer this question for an individual patient. Which means we just cannot tell you what your chances of success are going to be in one cycle. Let me explain. We can give you a rough approximation. We can tell you whether you're good prognosis, bad prognosis. We can tell you our success rate for women less than 35 who are good ovarian responders where we transfer one top quality blastocyst is 40%. But those are generic figures which apply to groups of women, to populations, so to say. That's what statistics is all about after all. But you don't care what happens to the other 99 patients in my clinic. You only care about what's going to happen to you. And the trouble is, we can't predict. Doctors aren't fortune tellers. We cannot tell what's going to happen to an individual patient, which means we still can't answer the most important question a patient's asking us. And it's important to know that because it gives us a certain degree of humility. And it's much more important that patients then have realistic expectations and understand what a doctor can do and that irrespective of how cheerful a doctor may be or how optimistic he may be or how he may claim an 80% success rate, none of this is ever going to be true in real life. The other saving grace is that while we're very good at telling you what the chances in a group of women is and we're not very good at telling you what your chances are in an individual cycle, we're quite good at telling you what your chances of success are going to be over a period of three to four cycles. This is called a cumulative conception rate. And the reason for this is not only do we learn from each cycle what went well, what didn't go well, how good your embryos are, how well the cycle is progressing. And if it fails, we learn valuable information as to perhaps why it did. But over time, our ability to be able to then give you a more accurate figure increases simply because we've done more cycles. And this is where the law of small numbers applies. So we're not very good at telling one individual patient what her chances are in one cycle, but we're much better at telling one individual patient what her overall chance of success in four cycles are going to be. And therefore, the better the quality of question you ask your doctor, the better the quality the answer is going to be.